Mark Tewart and thanks for tuning in to our video series, Why Automotive Dealerships Struggle. In video number 30, we're going to talk about lack of coaching skills. So often as a manager, the number one thing that you're working with is not going to be uh, things that you've got to manage as far as processes, etc. It's people. And there's an old saying that you lead people but you manage things. Well, you can manage things all day long, but if you're not leading the people by coaching them, you're probably not going to get very good results. You know, without the people, none of the other stuff matters. The process, the product, your positioning, the people. And what do you have to do? You have to make them a little better today than they were yesterday. And you have to do that every single day. Are you sitting down with each individual salesperson and doing one-on-ones? In struggling dealerships, that almost never happens. I believe you should do your save a deal process in the morning every day without fail at the same time and do it correctly. Number two, you should divide your sales staff immediately and start with your very best salespeople to coach first. It could be five or ten minutes and that's it. I may ask that great salesperson, what can I do for you today? I know I don't have to give them as much because they're self-directed, but I want to show them more attention first. Why? If they're great salespeople, that means they have the ability and the talents to be even better. And then I keep working my way down and I make sure that everybody gets coached, not just during sales process or educational training meetings, but one-on-one -on -one sitting at their desk going over what? How many people did you have yesterday? Did you have the opportunity to demonstrate a vehicle with that customer? Did you write that deal up? Did you close that deal? Did you deliver it? Where is it at? How many people have you had for the month? And is that on pace or behind pace for the working days that we have? Where are you at financially for the month? What would we do to get you if you're behind three, where you need three more people, that you will get those opportunities instead of just thinking that they're going to come from the door. How can I involve the CRM, my past customers, my orphan owners, etc., to get more opportunities? It's so easy to coach people, to look at their appointments, to look at their number one objection that they're having every day. If I have a customer that's not, or a salesperson that's not closing many deals, I'm going to look at their transitions. I'm going to look at what they're saying to objections. So I'm going to have them walk me through their last two or three or four deals that they did not so, I'm going to find commonalities. I'm going to find things that I can coach them up on. Why? Nobody's perfect. If you look at people in professional sports, they fail more often than they don't. But they keep coaching to try to get better at whatever it is. If you bat 300 for 10 years in MLB, Major League Baseball, you go to the Hall of Fame. Well, sales is, is a lot like that. So what I want to do is make sure that every opportunity I have with that salesperson, I'm maximizing for them and nothing is falling through the cracks. I'm Mark Tewart. Make sure you check out the rest of our video series. And as well, you can always get my free email newsletter for you at Tewart.com. Call us anytime at 888-2Tewart. And also, as always, here's to you in good selling.